The beginning of our lesson is where I will teach you something, and then you'll have an opportunity to practice through dictation what we have learned for that day or possibly something reviewed, reviewed that we have already learned. The first part of our review lesson is that we're going to go over our five vowels. In our classroom, we learn the vowels in this order, A, E, O, U, and I. We also learn the name of the letter is A and the sound is A. We also learn the name of this letter is E and the sound is E. The name of this letter is O and the sound is A. The name of this letter is U and the sound is A. The name of this letter is I and the sound is I. In our classrooms, we also learn some different ways to make kinesthetic cues or symbols, something to remind us about the sound. The one for A is a ah, a ah, apple, like we're eating an apple. A ah, a ah, apple. For E, it might be a eh, a eh, elbow or a eh, a. Eh. Something in your classroom might even have an egg or an elephant on it. For the O, it's a ah, a ah, a ah, a, ah. and we make a round motion around our mouth, a ah, just like that. There might be some other ones in your classroom that you use as well. For the U, it's a, uh, a, uh, like up, and we say up, a, uh, a, uh, up. For I, in most classrooms, we hear i, i, itch, i, i, itch. If there's another one that you know, you can tell someone in your home about it. For right now, we're going to move on to the letter Q. Remember, this is the part where Mrs. Fisher will teach you, and then we will practice together. The name of this letter is Q. What's the name of the letter? Q. This is a lowercase Q. What's the name of the letter? Q. When you form a lowercase Q, you put a circle and then you go down. The most important thing about the letter Q is that you remember which way the, the hook goes on the Q. If you put it the other way, it'll look like a J, a lowercase J. Remember, one, two. One, two. Good. The next letter we're going to talk about is also a Q, but this is an uppercase Q. Can you say uppercase Q? Uppercase Q. When you make an uppercase Q, you go all the way around one time and then you put a line through it. Let's practice together. All the way around, line through it. All right, pick up your, pa your pencil or something to write with and a piece of paper. We're gonna practice the lowercase q five times together. Are you ready? I want you to say lowercase q, lowercase q, lowercase q, lowercase q, lowercase q, five times. I want you to write a lowercase q five times on your paper. One, two, three, four, five, and say lowercase q. Good, now we're gonna do uppercase q. Watch me again. One, two, it's taller than the lowercase q. Let's do that five times on our paper. Uppercase q, uppercase q, uppercase Q, uppercase Q, uppercase Q, five times. Good, double check your Q, especially your lowercase Q, and make sure that the hook is going the right way. And then make sure your uppercase Q is larger than your lowercase Q. Good job, pencils down and listen. When we have a lowercase Q in a word, it has to go next to a U. When you have a Q and a U together, it says qu. Q U qu. Q U qu. Let's practice it together. Q U qu. Q U qu. Q U qu. Q U qu. Whenever you have a Q and a U together, you put an arc under it. That tells you that those two letters go together and you have to understand the pairing of them to understand the sound of qua. All right, 
Pick up your pencils and your piece of paper. Let's practice Q-U, Qua, three times. And don't forget to put your arc. Lowercase Q, lowercase U, arc, Qua. Write that one time on your paper. Good job, let's do it again. Lowercase Q, lowercase U, arc it, and say Qua. Write that on your paper. Good job. Make sure that your hook is going the right way. If it goes the other way, it's gonna be a different letter. Let's practice this one more time. Lowercase Q, down, 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 hook. Lowercase U, do an arc and say Qua. Good job. Now we're gonna practice uppercase Q and lowercase U together. We're gonna say uppercase Q, U, put your arc and say qua. Let's do that three times together. Uppercase Q, lowercase U, put your arc and say qua. Good job. Uppercase Q, lowercase U, put your arc and say qua. Nice job, one more time. Uppercase Q, lowercase u, arc it and say qua. Check your work. Make sure your uppercase Q is taller than your lowercase u. And make sure when you put your line through it, it's on the right side. And whenever you have a Q and a U in a slide or a word, you're going to mark it with an arc. Nice job. Now, take out your hands. I'm going to practice some dictation. I'm going to leave this up here because if you're on the scope and sequence with me, it's probably the first time you're seeing it this year. So I want to make sure that you get through each piece of the scope and sequence this year. Hold your pizzas. You ready? Qua, qua. Did you say qua, qua back to me? Let's practice one more time. Hands ready. Qua, 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 qua. Good, write the qua sound one time and don't forget to arc it. Good, good job. Let's practice it one more time. Qua, qua. Can you write it one more time for me on your piece of paper? And put an arc. Thank you, good job. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna keep practicing. But this time what we're gonna do is we are gonna practice some things that we've already learned. Are you ready? All right, get your hands ready. We're gonna do some dictation. It's gonna review uppercase, lowercase, slides, and some words, okay? Show me you're ready. I want to see uppercase R, uppercase R. Good, and while you're writing uppercase R, I'm gonna write uppercase R on my paper too, so we can check each other's work. Uppercase R. Good job. You ready? Hands ready. Lowercase T, lowercase T. Good, you're gonna write it right underneath your uppercase R, just like you do in class. And I'm looking for a lowercase T. Check my work. How'd you do? Good job. All right, next word. Uppercase P, uppercase P. Uppercase P. Good job. Next one. I'm looking for the sound that is V, V. One more time, v, v. Did you get the sound of V? Oh, nice job. Uppercase U, uppercase U. Uppercase U, 
uppercase U. Nice job. Uppercase X, uppercase X. Did you get uppercase X? Nice job. All right, now we're gonna do some slides. Remember when we do make a slide, you have two letters together and then you're going to put back one, your slide arrow. We'll practice with za together. Za, za. Good, right, za. Za. Nice job. You ready? V, 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 v. Like uh, up. V, v. Write the slide v one time. Did you check your work? V. Nice job. Next one. T, t. Lowercase letters. Check Mrs. Fisher's work. You ready? T. Good job. Did you remember your slide arrow? Me too. Ready? S, s. S, S, lowercase letters, slide arrow. Okay, nice job. Now we're going to practice CVC words, consonant, vowel, consonant. All the vowels that are in these words are vowels that you've already learned in school. Show me you're ready. Yum, yum. Yum. Mm, I don't have to have a slide anymore, but I have to do something else. I have to mark my vowel. Yum. Yum. Good job. Next word. Fox. Fox. The fox ran in my yard. He was fast. Fox. Don't forget to mark your vowel. Fox, lowercase f, lowercase x, fox. Next one, uh, wag, wag. It is interesting when a dog will wag his tail. Wag. Wag. Did you make your lowercase g? Did you make sure that the hook on the G went down, 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 and then hook? Good job. Wag, next word. Den, den. Eh, what vowel is that? Eh. Make sure that D is a lowercase D. Eh, eh, that's my vowel sound. Den. Did you see that lowercase d? Did you make sure it was going the right way? Take a moment, check your work. Den, den. Next one, tug, tug. The dog would tug the rope, tug. Tug, again, lowercase g going the right way, tug. All right, now what I would like for you to do is I would like for you to find someone. It could be your teacher, it could be your brother or sister, someone at the house, and I want you to tell them the names of the letters. Then I want you to read the slides to them, and then I want you to read the words to them, like this, uppercase R, lowercase t, low, uppercase P, lowercase v, uppercase u, lowercase x. And then I want you to tell them the sounds of those letters. 
er, t, p, v, a, x. Then I want you to read the slides and then I want you to read the words. And then if you feel like a challenge, you can say, use the words in a sentence for somebody at your house. Okay guys, thank you for watching. This was the QU lesson. Have a good day.